just replace the battery before I end it, um, before I just cut the video short. And the one I'm just going to be using is a core. These are from an Explorer, part number 02471. You can find these on Summit Racing. Um, I think they were like three dollars each, but the shipping kills you unless you're buying multiple things. So what I bought with this was a uh, tool to measure valve spring height. Uh, because I will be increasing the, since I'm using GT4EP heads, the lift is going to be about 0.509 or 0.506 or 0.5 because I'm using a trick flow stage one cam. So that's for another video. I already have the heads there. I already have the springs. I just need to buy the valves. But yeah, I'm going to already set this up. I'll put the vi the camera so you guys could go seeing the uh, process. Now, I don't know how much I have to go in with this. So, because you just want for this to stop so it won't go into the engine. So I'll keep that. I'll put that in the video so you guys could see. Okay, so this should be your end result once you do the oil galley plug. So you could see it stays flush, but it's not, but it's not going to affect the camshaft plate or anything. See. So now I'm going to do the same thing to the other two. And after that, go right then clean the engine. Okay, so I already threaded the oil galley plugs, as you can see. Um, it's still not set in there because when you do this one up here, now you have to not really grind, but with some sandpaper, carefully take any of the threads that are left there because you really don't want that scratching up the lifter that goes here. But other than that, that's basically how you do the threads for the oil galley plugs instead of using the press and uh, I want to call them fangs or caps which could okay the video stopped there because a uh, card for them for the camera was full I just forgot what I was saying but this one's still not saying uh, because I still have to grind down the parts that were still caused by the tap there but this is basically the way to prevent from using the caps that could fail or the fangs as I was saying in the in the when the video was uh, cut um, this way you won't have any failures due to oil pressure uh, you really don't want that in an engine um, but yeah so I'm going to end the video here this one will be part two or episode two because the first episode for stage two was measuring the crankshaft only for the mains. I still have to measure it now for the connecting rods to make sure everything's good. It's round, it's not egg shaped or anything. But basically it's getting it's it's getting there. So now what I have to do for the for this is just clean up, wash it, make sure there aren't any contaminants in between and go on from there because the pistons are already ready to install just have to check the piston ring gap 
Um, but again, the objective of, the, of this engine is just hopefully 300 horsepower NA. I'm going to be using the 470W with the 410 gears. The car is going to move. Might not have top end speed, but for as a city as a city car daily driver, drag racing in my in my opinion is good enough for me. But yeah, and I still have to do the video. The review on the Grand Marquis I told you guys I was going to do. But yeah. So in case you guys want to keep receiving updates, just subscribe, like. Um, you don't have to. And there isn't anything else, so until next time.